Alright, this will be my little trash bag. He's not talking down. Are we recording? Yeah, we've been recording. Oh. We've been recording! Alright, well, <laughs> welcome back to Lake Matt. We got everything all set up first. So, ingredients we got eggs, sourdough, butter, paprika, tonies, garlic, pepper. This is what meat looks like when you buy it from a butcher. Oh. Yeah. Onion. Today we're gonna do French toast, sourdough, cheeseburger. Now some people make a sweet French toast, but we're not. We're gonna do our savory. So I'm not gonna add like the sugar and cinnamon and all that stuff to it. Oh, I can't be close to the Oh, our camera person's fixing to cry. I am. Do you need yeah, does it get to you? Not that bad, usually. Oh, rubber band around your glasses. Oh, that's to keep them from falling off with the mask on. Alright, so the way I'm going to cut my onion, I want actual rings instead of dicing. So I'm going to do it in half, and then just do slices like that. Aren't you sound? Oh. Well, remember we tried with the mic, but this is close enough that... Okay. Alright, so that's going to give like nice good half rings. We're going to save that for in a minute. Now we need to get our hamburger meat ready. So this is about two and a half pounds. Normally you need about a quarter pound of meat per person. Just in general if you're trying to figure out how much for a party or something. Probably. Yeah, that does it. Sliders? Did you bring bacon? Did you bring not. I didn't like the bacon at the store last night. <laughs> I know. It's tragic. Are you serious, Lee? Mr. Right. Lee. <laughs> I think so, it's plain. We're going to season it with some Tony's, because Tony's is awesome. A little bit of paprika. Paprika's got flavor, but not much spice. Some black pepper, because that's always good. I didn't do salt, because Tony's has salt. A lump in his knee. And then a little bit of garlic powder. A dab. And then we need to put some eggs in here to make my beef extra delicious. These eggs are from my chickens at home, but I hear the store sells them. Mm, I think one more. Now I'm going to get a different set of gloves because those are eggs from my chickens at home. Which means they're not scrubbed as clean as the store eggs. Now earlier a student asked me, ooh, sourdough, is it going to be sour? No, no it's not. Bread, beer, and whiskey are all very similar. Yeah, you just get up in there with your hands and mix it all up. I could dice some onions up in here also, but some of these students have weird opinions about things. Like onions. I don't know how you can't like onions. So, since beer and bread and whiskey are all very closely almost the same thing, 
So when we eat. If you take some of your last whiskey batch to make your next whiskey batch, it's called a sour mash. Same thing with beer. You take some of the last beer to make the new beer, and it's a sour. So, so with sourdough, you keep some of the dough from last time, and that's a sourdough. So we're eating old dough? What you cooking there, like the sour in We are going to do French toast cheeseburgers. Mm. On sourdough. So the onions, I'm just throwing them in with some butter. Did you use the whole steak? No. Oh, we will be out of butter before we're done. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh my god. All right, so as those onions cook down, they're going to actually like turn into the nice long strips like I like. I'm going to do my burgers here, and then I'm going to do the French toast on the other ones. Alright, so I gotta mix up my eggs. The yolks and the whites to be mixed up pretty good. All right, and then my burgers are going to take the longest, so I'm going to start them first. Put a splash of butter in just to make sure they don't stick. Not a whole lot, just I guess that's a tea, tablespoon. It's mostly just because I don't want them to stick when they're getting started. into patty sizes. I want them to be thick enough but not too thick. If it's too thick it's not going to cook it right in the middle. If it's too thin it's not going to be juicy and awesome enough. So just kind of make a little ball like play-doh. Squish it. That's going to plump up. That should be fine. You don't want to squish them after you put them in there because it just squishes all the juiciness out. You want to get a good sear on each side to lock in the juices. And all those people you see like pushing down on it while it's grilling, it's not good. You're not supposed to do that. Don't do that. This is so good to go and I think Gordon Ramsay's got his own chef action going on. I don't think he needs amateur. 
All right, so we've got seven already, so I'm going to get a couple plates ready for when the French toast starts coming off. So when the French toast comes off, I'm going to need to have somewhere to put it while I cook the rest of the French toast. Softer, but they're not soft yet, so I want those to be floppier. I don't want to burn my butter, but I do want those to cook, so I'm just going to leave them be for the moment. sticking means I didn't have them hot enough or buttery enough. I got it. That was, I had to make up for the other flip because that was just a sad flip. That was more of a flop. All right, my burgers aren't sticking yet. They're good. I could turn the heat up a little bit more on this, but I will not. I'm not there yet. Marco, you're like in a hurry to get to your next class, right? Everyone else has already, already notified all of your teachers that will be there eventually. Oh, eventually. So that means you can have the first burger. And then since our other new student decided that she didn't want to be in our class, the second burger, I need someone to deliver it to the class that she's in, so that Miss Locke can eat it in front of her. Oh. <laughs> Is another new student? Not one girl. Not one girl. What's her name? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? The only one girl. Little short girl. All of the little short girl. The little, the little one. She looked like she was an eighth grader. She didn't need to fit in with us. She wouldn't have fit in. She was too little. Kimberly? Yeah. yeah. This one just doesn't have to eat. Uh, no, she's here. <laughs> she said this girl. That's too much. Maybe that's right. 